Well, this is Ted. He was very eager to send in his VHS copy. Uh, he actually sent two just in case one failed because, you know, sometimes that tape gets tangled up in the VHS. Mm. You ever have that, have it that does, problem? It does. It does. You That stuff can yeah. go everywhere. Oh, it's terrible. But uh, anyway, this this right here is uh, Ted. Ted, let's, uh, let's hear your audition for the weather reporter. Barb crew, I'm so excited to be auditioning for a weather person for y'all. I listen to the show every morning, love y'all show. So, my name is Ted Stevens. I'm a retired high school science teacher. Actually, I lost my job a little while ago, but I thought I'd do something a little different. Instead of the boring weather, you know, it's sunny over there, it's rainy over there, I thought I'd give you a little science and show you the atmosphere and weather of the planet Venus. So you see here, I've got a little graphic. There's little lightning storms and cool stuff happening over there. So interesting about Venus, Venus's atmosphere is 96% carbon dioxide. Ooh, that would just be oh, unsuitable for us. That kind of weather and stuff in the atmosphere floating around would be toxic to us humans. You know, toxic like uh, my last relationship. <laughs> yeah, but now, also about Venus, sulfur and sulfic acid, acid rain, constantly is going through the atmosphere, creating a greenhouse gas effect, trapping everything in there. Very suffocating for us humans. Suffocating, like my therapist said I was in my last relationship. But, you know, I, I'm just so excited to tell you about Venus. You know, she and I... We had our love of science uh, in common, and that's that's kind of how we how we connected. And I I used to call her my Venus. <laughs> just hold on, I just it's really cool to be into science. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Someone get that guy a tissue, you know, oh, or two for both VHSs, you know, for each. I'm so sorry there, Ted. Um, I, and it's sad because we were we weren't looking for a Venus, no, uh, broad, like uh, w forecast. We were looking for an Earth forecast. We were, but you know, we we should have specified. I feel like you know, you know, that's so true. We never, we didn't, we, we didn't. You know. And he did, you know, he did just lose his job. And you know how whenever you're looking for a new job, mm -hmm. you start applying to 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 everything you remotely qualify for. You get, yeah, you get frantic. You know, you know, you're just like throwing stuff all over the walls and mm -hmm. seeing what sticks. It's you it's know, our fault. It's it, definitely it, it our is. fault. It is. You know. you know, I felt bad for him because he seemed to be clearly um upset with his his relationship with Venus. Well, Venus is what he called her, you know, mm -hmm. but uh, maybe maybe he should uh, try Earth. Hmm? It'll try try Earth, you know. Maybe 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 she would be different and right for him and right for us. Right for, the, for, for our weather. Mm -hmm. would That's be. right. Mm -hmm. hey, but you know, if we don't hire Ted, probably not. Uh, who? How do people send in uh, their weather audition? Oh. Bar. Well, you can certainly send in your audition, too. You can just email us at bashandbarb at gmail.com. Bash and Barb! <laughs>